Look at that. What's going on, everybody? Thanks for stopping by. This is Outdoors Maryland. I'm Sam. Um, today, we're going to show you how to make Maryland style cream of crab soup. If you like the video, make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so every time I put up a video, it will let you know. All summer long, me and the wife, we love doing our blue crabbing. And throughout the summer, my wife does 95% of it. She, we do all the picking. And last year, we saved close to 40 pounds of crab meat we stuck up in the freezer. All right, well, that's a lot of our hard work. We've already, we've had about 40, maybe 41 pounds that we saved up and we have it all marked what's in it we have the lump we have the regular meat she'll even put female and if you can see back there if it's male crab meat if it's female crab meat and um i think right now we still this is about 27 pounds left um i'm getting ready to make cream of crab soup and i'm just letting you know this is what we do all summer long we pick we get our crabs we pick it we vacuum seal it and we freeze it and um, this is the perfect time. Even though it was just 65 deg 67 degrees the other day, it's in, it's in February and we get to have crab balls and crab soups and all that stuff. And this is my favorite. I'm the only one who eats it in the house. And that is crab soup, cream of crab soup. So what I'm gonna do, first I'm gonna get this pan hot. I'm gonna put, as you can see, all the ingredients. Okay, so what, so I'm making a double batch. In the description, I will give you, in the description, I would put the recipe for uh, one batch, you know? So I'm actually doubling everything. So you're really gonna have one cup, but I'm putting two cups of butter in, and we're gonna go ahead and get this, get the butter to start melting. Roughly cut some onions and some celery. And we're just using them for flavor. All right, so we're gonna use probably about a a cup, two cups of celery and onions, just um, you know, roughly chopped. And then I'm gonna go ahead. Let's bring it over here. I'm gonna stick it in one stick of butter. We're making a big batch, double batch. And what we're looking for is just to get these translucent. That's it. Okay, so we're gonna have two cups of butter. Okay. So why we took I took one stick I took one stick of butter and put it in here and what I'm gonna do is just get these translucent. With this we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add I got the black gloves on because I cut my finger at work and so pepper. Salt. I'm not going to make it put too much salt because the crabs, the crabs that we have, meat. Get the all right, so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to put all of this in here. just translucent we're really just we're not going to this is not going to be in this is not going to be in the uh what's up on this ain't going to be in the uh in the soup all right so now so this is doubled remember this is going to be double all right so usually you'll get two cups of milk but we're going to use four cups and we just start adding all the, pretty much all the, uh, just gotta really be careful. We don't wanna scald it. And you would normally use two, but I'm gonna use four cups of heavy cream, heavy whipping cream. Four cups, chicken broth. Oh, 
I am a mess. I always make a mess. Never fails, does it? Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this cook, get, cook for a little while. We want to make sure we get as much flavor from the celery and onions as possible. Alright, so we'll go ahead and cook this a little bit and then what we'll end up doing is straining out everything. And then we'll add our secret ingredient. Alright, so now what we're going to do, we're, the, the celery and onions are good. So we're going to transfer this stuff into another pot. Here, come over to here. You can come back on the other side if you want. Because <laughs> my wife knows what's going to happen is that I'm getting ready to make a mess all over her stove. Oh my god. <laughs> cheese Philadelphia cream cheese I don't know where the thing was I'm going to show you but we're using Philadelphia cream cheese the regular batch uses only one but we're actually going to use two <laughs> but wait just she just knows that it's just I'm, I'm going to make a mess all right. all right so what I'm going to add we don't want no lumpy cream cheese I'm kind of want to wait for this to get up to a boil and get it really hot. Um, so it's starting to smoke, but I want it to kind of almost come to a boil. I'm going to use my emulsifier to get all the lumps out. Now what I have is a cup and a half and a cup and a half of um, milk. I'm sorry, water and flour. Okay, because what's going to happen? I'm going to sift through this, and make sure no lumps. But this is what's going to thicken this up. It's going to be different every time. Sometimes you might even have to add a little bit more milk or a little bit more flour. So I'm only going to add this in like half of it because it's going to thicken up. When this is boiling, it is going to thicken up just like that. And uh, I just want to be nice and ready for it. Um, usually what I'll do is that I'll, I'll, I'll use this emulsifier to make sure it's thin. Because whenever you reheat it, you might you always got to add a little bit of milk to it. All right, that's really starting to get. So now, I'm gonna take this, and my wife is probably gonna spray back. <laughs> spray back? Yeah, get back. <laughs> That's kind of why I cut the cheese, the, um, the cream cheese into um, pieces. It makes it easier. All right, so with that, now we're gonna add a whole cup of sherry to it. Okay, and now we're gonna add obey. You can do it to taste. I don't want it to be too salty, but I definitely, I would say maybe I'm a little heavy on Obey. I don't know, three, three tablespoons. I'm ready to put the whole thing in there, but we don't want it salty. All right, I'll get that in there real nice. Now I'm gonna get this up really almost boiling. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this little sifter here when I put the when I put the slurry in it, whatever you want to call it, um, into it, because I want to don't want no lumps. I'm, I'm probably going to use the emulsifier again to um, really make sure the lumps are out of it. But it when that when that roux hits it, it's going to really it's going to thicken it up. And once we thicken it up and get it ready, I want to go ahead and add the crab meat. And, and this is claw meat, claw meat back. It, it's pretty much. A mix of everything but a lot of claw meat um, there is four pounds of crab meat here I'm putting four pounds in it that's why I'm doubling it all right so now I just I didn't tape it sorry but I just added a cup and a half of water and a couple half of uh, um, flour so now I'm just gonna go ahead and just make sure all the lumps are out of it it's gonna get thick turned out a lot perfect it got really 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 all right four pounds of crab meat the other one probably calls for about a pound and I 
can tell you that's I'm gonna let that cook for just I don't know maybe another five minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and plate it up and make it look really really nice for you all right there you go Maryland cream crab it's absolutely delicious um, I wish it could have been a little bit thicker but I think it turned out beautiful it looks good and I've already tasted it and it tastes absolutely wonderful all right I hope you like the video um, if you do like the video and you want to see more make sure make sure you subscribe make sure you hit that like button and hit that notification bell that way every time i put a video up it will let you know all right uh, we went and did some something off the wall in the next video um i did some trapping with a buddy of mine um outdoor channel you know i've never done it before first time and uh we'll see how that goes look for that um and and thanks for stopping by you all have a nice day see ya